Guys, welcome back to the Cyber Plaid build. I'm on the fun part of this build, which is the design. What I need to do is to align the glass with the hood. So I need to take out this glass. I don't want to mess it up because I'm going to have to cut, you know, this, the body down here. Uh, I'm preserving this part and I'm preserving the glass. I do need to take it out first. So let's cut this off, cut this off, and, um, and then cut the body. Let's go. I'm using high performance Harbor Freight tools. I was a little scared to, to do this because this glass is not broken. I had to preserve it. For example, when I did this on the Cyber Roaster, that glass was completely demolished and I didn't care about, you know, preserving it, right? I did mess up the uh, the rubber, like, kind of flange that, that sits on the glass, but that can be changed. Main thing is I took out the glass without breaking it. Next step is I got to take out this glass. I'm going to cut it off. That is a huge piece. And this is also not broken. This is expensive and I need to preserve this. This is not going to stay on the cyber flat build. <laughs> That's not going. Jeez. Oh. There it goes. Man, it was hard to get it through there. That was definitely something. That was like two windshields right there. All right, top glass is out. Didn't break this or this one. <laughs> that was uh, successful. So uh, the plan is cut off roughly right here. Whatever holds the windshield has to be one piece over here and down over here and kind of forward. And the rest of this basically is gonna have to go. Some trim to take off, take these off, you know, take some rubbers off. Um, then we'll get ready for uh, cutting the body. That's gonna be fun. Ugh. Once the glass is off, the whole the whole thing becomes like flimsy for some reason. Okay, uh, where should I start? With the hard part right here. We're gonna test, I'm gonna test fit the dashboard. I already took it off and bubble wrapped everything. I need to put it back on and mark where the uh, dashboard ends on this pillar right here. I don't wanna be guessing because if I, if I cut it a little too low or too high, I'm gonna have to be recutting it later. So it's better to do it now. It's a little easier to install the dashboard when there's no windshield. Doing this on the side of the roadster, I didn't mark anything. I was just going, I was just cutting it. Whatever went smoother. So, I caught it. All aluminum. I'm a little nervous, point of no return. Once I start cutting this, there's no going back. What I'm using is carbide teeth, torch blades. It says 50 times life. Put it against the Tesla frame. These are a little short. It's going really fast. Why is it going so fast?
one blade, $25. That's crazy. Let me see what I can do with this six inch before I jump in that long one. It's kind of weird right here, the way it comes together. Kind of a tough spot. I'll cut that side first, you know, do the front, and then I'll focus on this. This is easy. I'm just going to take my bandsaw and just go through it. When I was chopping the Model 3, I cut one of these pillars, which is the same thing. It's all connected, right? When I cut the pillar right here, the car collapsed on itself. Imagine that. So there was tension in, in that, you know, in the car. And this one, the car didn't even shift at all. How it was standing is you know, how it is right now, even though it's cut. Okay, that wasn't too hard. That took me like a total of probably five minutes of cutting, but I did have to go get that nine inch blade that I didn't even have to use. Oh, this part of the car is disconnected. Look at this, look how flimsy this is. I got some uh, reinforcing to do, that's for sure. Last step is Cut it off right here. I'm gonna use a bandsaw. Whoa, this thing is light. This thing is pretty, this thing is really light. Let's do some <laughs> inspecting, look at the car. Check this out. This thing is hollow. I thought this thing was like, it had more layers to it, but this was the problem area right here. See, this is thick, super. Cyber plaid is halfway built. Now I'm at the part where I get to mess with where this glass piece, where I'm gonna put it. It's so a glass kind of just moved around, go up and down. I gotta do some cleaning. Let's, uh, let's clean this up. All right, after several hours of brainstorming, this is where the original Model S windshield ended. This is where it's gonna end now.